Hi guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to be testing the Puma Deviate Nitro Elite. These uh, shoes are on sale on Start Fitness uh, website and the amazing price of um, 85 pounds. You can add also an extra discount of 10%. Uh, I personally use the one provided by 4D Runs. Please watch uh, his amazing video and uh, subscribe to his channel. But also, if you subscribe to the uh, Star Fitness newsletter, you're going to uh, get the 10% uh, anyway, if I'm not mistaken. So you will end up uh, paying this shoes uh, 76.5 pounds for a pair of carbon plated shoes uh, that uses uh, p box foam. The shoes have been worn by the uh, professional American athlete uh, Molly Seidel and uh, she uh, reached in Tokyo the third position, obtaining the bronze medal, running with a time um, not uh, uh, far from the time uh, she got when she qualified for the Olympics, uh, running in uh, a pair of Saucony Endorphin Pro Plus. So these shoes uh, must be very good, otherwise I guess she wouldn't uh, have chosen them to run such an important event. These shoes uh, are uh, very comfortable, are very, very snug, so therefore it's a tiny bit troublesome to put them on, but uh, once they're on I can guarantee they're absolutely comfortable. Uh, they are very very close uh, uh, in terms of uh, feeling with um, the um, Saucony Endorphin Pro Plus. Um, the uh, upper reminds me the one used in the uh, Vaporfly, so I guess that is not that uh, breathable as much as the one uh, used uh, by uh, Saucony. But uh, yeah, the fit is great. Uh, the shoes are very, very light, are 216 grams. And um, so uh, the, instead the Saucony uh, Endorphin Pro Plus are 205 grams. But uh, again, they are uh, very, very close. Uh, to, to them in my opinion and uh, I hope that uh, uh, doing uh, the same workout I've done in the previous test uh, which consists in 5 times 1k with 2 minutes of rest in between I'm going to get times very very close to the ones uh, I uh, got in using the Saucony Endorphin Pro Plus that currently are uh, the fastest in my opinion a uh, pair of carbon plated shoes uh, Saucony ever made though I must say that in Second place, uh, uh, there are the Endorphin uh, Pro 3, and uh, actually there is just one second of difference, uh, which is a negligible uh, uh, difference, uh, uh, especially because it's on 5K. So let's test them and uh, let's see how they perform. I'm going to start with a bit of warm up, uh, doing uh, three laps. I already done 10 minutes uh, riding my bike uh, to the uh, running track, and after we're going to start the test. It's a perfect day to test the shoes. Shoes are very comfortable. Uh, the stack is 36 mm with uh, 8 uh, mm drop. Set very light, very responsive, and uh, hopefully, they should be fast. The uh, shoes are very very fast, uh, super comfortable and very very quick. They remind me also the speed roll technology already experienced uh, wearing the Saucony. Very very comfortable, very very fast. Uh, and actually, uh, I think that uh, I ran the fastest warm up ever. Wow, very very promising. Let's see how it's going to be the first uh, 344. Not bad at all. <laughs> Jesus, Mary and Joseph. <laughs> Not bad at all. Let me check my heart rate. 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, six, seven, nine, ten, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, seven, eight, nine, two, twenty, two, twenty-three, twenty-three times uh, six, uh, eighteen, uh, and thirty-eight. Uh, Bit for me, uh, not bad. More or less the same uh, recorded on the previous test uh, that uh, eventually feel free to watch uh, on my YouTube channel. I tested the uh, Nike Vaporfly. I tested uh, the Endorphin uh, Pro 2, the Endorphin Pro Plus. And now it's time to test the Puma. Record repetition again. 
three, four, five. Not bad. Not bad. You know, so far so good. Abundantly faster than uh, any other carbon plated shoes uh, ever tested, which means uh, faster than the uh, Endorphin Pro 3, faster than the Endorphin Pro Plus, uh, faster than the Vaporfly, faster. Yeah. <laughs> Third one, 347, not bad. We are still uh, below the 350. Uh, uh, marker so this one uh, I believe that uh, the fastest done with the Pro 3 was uh, 343 but I did uh, manage to do just one rep and after I was cruising around 350 and uh, uh, in the fastest uh, on the when the Pro Plus was 348 I already done three repetitions uh, uh, below that marker and I, today I had also, I had the day off, so therefore I had the bike ride, 30K, so therefore, supposedly, I should be tired. <laughs> supposedly. <laughs> Fourth one, 348, again, which was the fastest run in the Pro Plus. And I did 348, the fourth repetition, not bad. These shoes are very, very fast. 338, the last one, the fastest ever recorded in carbon plated shoes. Not bad. Let me check the heart rate. Twenty, twenty-one, thirty-two. So, hundred uh, thirty-two bit for me. on running a one k in three thirty-eight. Uh, also, yesterday I had uh, a good uh, challenging eight k with a client. We finished uh, to run the last uh, four hundred uh, three thirty pace. So therefore, again, supposedly I should be tired. <sighs> Very well done to Puma. I'm a Saucony guy, but I must admit, uh, these shoes uh, have something more. They definitely uh, probably are lighter, they are more uh, uh, supportive because uh, they are a tiny bit of walls. Uh, they, if you look at something like how the shoes uh, has been made, uh, there are walls on the side, so therefore, it's slightly more supportive than uh, the Pro Plus. Uh, but wow. Well done, Puma. Very well done.